In this module, we will show you what the initializing process looks like when you use a DAWA network video recorder, or in short, an NVR. You will either go through this process upon first powering on the NVR or after a device factory reset. First thing you will see is the startup screen, which may take some time to complete loading before the system is ready for use. After the startup screen, the initializing process will commence starting with a setup screen being shown. On this setup screen, you will be able to select what region you're located in, what language you want the device to be displayed in, and what video standard to use. If you're in Australia, typically we would select the PAL video standard. You will need to select your time zone, system time, and select whether your region observes daylight saving time or not. The state I'm from, Victoria, observes daylight saving time. So in that instance, I would choose week as the type and provide the beginning and ending times for daylight saving. You can also decide whether you want the system to do an automated daily online check for updates. If you want to be able to stay current on security and device updates, this feature is very useful. Just note that the NVR needs to be connected to the internet in order for this feature to work. The DAWA software licensing agreement appears on the following screen. You can have a read and if you agree to the terms and conditions, you will need to tick the checkbox. Click next when you're finished. Next up is the admin password and password recovery setup process. You will be required to enter in a secure admin password. You can enter in a password hint just to give yourself a reminder of the password you've entered. You're able to select if you want to use an unlock pattern or not. Unlock pattern helps enable easier logins without having to enter your password every time you need to use the NVR. Once you're done with this page, you can click next. If you've chosen to use an unlock pattern, then you would then need to enter in your pattern and also confirm it here. The next page is the password recovery section. You can choose to not use any recovery email or security questions. We would highly recommend you use at least one password recovery method. If you've selected reserved email, then you would need to input in your email address. Make sure the email address is correct and that it is an email address that you have access to. If you've selected security questions, then you would need to select the security question and the answer to go with it. Make sure you select questions and answers that you can easily remember. Click next to proceed. Here we have the startup wizard. The startup wizard has all the essential things you'll need in order to set up and get the NVR up and running quickly. From here you can configure network settings such as what IP or DNS to use, P2P, a feature that makes it easier to remotely access the NVR via software or apps, adding a camera, and also Disk Manager, which is for setting up the installed hard drives on the NVR. We won't be demonstrating the startup wizard here, so for that you'll need to refer to our live demonstration video, which can be found on the DAS training portal. And that concludes the end of this module.